What's up everyone, Wolfman here, back at it again with another LEGO Star Wars review. And today I'm doing, a I'm doing a set that was released during the Rebels TV series, and it is on the Rebel Combat Frigate. Now before I get into the review itself, just another quick reminder of the upcoming review on the Grand Fleet, which is going to be released on the 26th, which is in a couple of days from, which is... Yeah, coming up pretty coming up pretty soon. Just this review and then after the next one, which is gonna be a big one, it's gonna be the best one I would I would have to say, because this is that set's definitely gonna be worth the review and worth worth the wait. But after that is going to be the review on my Grand Fleet, which is gonna be consist of ships from the different eras of the Star Wars timeline from Clone Wars era, Imperial era, First Order Resistance era, and even ships from in between from other factions, including <clears throat> including the Mandalorian army as well. So I believe with that out of the way, and without any further ado, on to the review. And here it is, set number 75158, the Rebel Combat Frigate. This set was released back in 2016, has 936 pieces and comes with five minifigures, two of which are quite unique to the set and it's the only set you can get these two minifigures around and we'll go ahead and start off with them. As you can see in this photo here, the five the five characters happen happen to be Ezra Bridger with a different hairstyle with a different hairstyle that I've given him. We've got Chopper in the back, we got Agent Callus in the back as well, we got Commander Sato in front of him, and for the first time for this in the Rebels series and the only figure you can get this along with with Sato is Ahsoka Tano, the former apprentice of Anakin Skywalker, and this and the designs on each of these guys is quite neat, is quite unique. But I'm a big fan of Ahsoka's design, especially. I mean, they gave her, I mean, as you have seen in the photo before, her design features it doesn't really really stick to the anime or to the pro or to the uh, the TV series but I think it gets the message across and this is the only along with her and Commander Sato like I said before I know I'm gonna keep saying this this is the only set you can get the you can get these two figures of course you can get Ezra and other sets and Chopper and Agent Callus but this set was definitely this set only came with is the only set that comes with Ahsoka Tano and Commander June Sato <clears throat> now just a little bit of just just to go a little bit into the lore of this, Commander Sato was the leader of the Phoenix Cell, which was organized by Senator Bail Organa, and Ahsoka was a basically Agent Fulcrum within the, in the series. And both these guys were actually featured with mainly in the first, mainly in the second season, mainly Ahsoka, but Commander Sato, I think he lasted into the end of the the third season. Then he ended up dying at the Battle of Adalon. Thorn, giving Ezra a chance to escape a blockade above the planet, courtesy of the blockade, courtesy of Grand Admiral Thrawn. If you hadn't seen my review on the Phantom Two, that set comes with Agent comes with uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. But anywho, Agent Callus, who at the end of that same episode, at the end of that end of that season, he ends up joining forces with the with the rebels in the end, which is a neat, which was actually quite the neat touch. And of course, I did and. I do believe that all four of the minifigs they do have double face, I believe. Uh, Ezra does, Kalos does, Nasato, and I don't think Ahsoka does either, but I'll put a picture up anyways just in case. And of course, these guys who have designs in the back at minus Chopper, who, but except for his head, who has a three, four, three hundred sixty degree design. And I like the and I do like the designs, especially with Agent Callus's helmet, which is actually a neat design. I'm a big, I actually like it a lot. Unfortunately, it does not come with a wig, so it's common. It's kind of practical to have him with the helmet on, unless anyone who has the who does have any form of Agent Callus and you actually have his actual wig or his hair or whatever. Go ahead, and you can basically use it that way. So. I'll basically put those guys out to the side and just move on to the set itself, the Combat Frigate. And this actually, this is actually a recomm this this ship design in general is actually a Pelta class medical transport, or at least a medical, or at least it was used for medical for um, medical transports during the Clone Wars. So it was so this sucker made its 
one and only appearance at the beginning of the second season of Star Wars Rebels, which ended up being destroyed by Darth Vader and his TIE Advance. Now, I'm a little, I'm going to be a little critical over the design a little. I mean, given the size, it doesn't really do any real justice to me. It's bigger I mean, in the series, or in Star Wars lore in general, this sucker is actually bigger than a consular class, which was the last ship I did a review on, the Rebel, the Republic Frigate. That sucker was a console, which I forgot to mention in that review. But the Pelta Frigate, which this is designed, which this is considered or classified as, it's supposed to be bigger than a consular class, and even a CR-90 Corvette, this thing is supposed to be that much bigger, but... Alas, it still works nonetheless, and I did do a few minor design tweaks to it. I put in some red pieces along along here and here and along with the other side, which isn't the traditional look on it, but I decided to go for it anyways. And this sucker does have some playability as well. It's got the, the spring-loaded shooters at the front, which as always I never put them put them in because they will go off without me even trying. And it has the stud launchers here in the back. Let me just show you guys. It's got a pair of these guys on either side of the thrusters back here. And of course, this also does have a handle that you can utilize and that could be used like so many other ships. And of course, the, you can also gain access to the inside as well. You've got the saw here with a pot for the pilot to sit in and a desk for Commander Sato and a seat for Ahsoka as well. So that's for the most part roughly it for some of the playable features, but there's one other that it has. Apologies for my phone going off, if anyone heard that. One of the biggest features that Pelta Class has is extra thrusters. I mean, I'll give you guys a look at the back here. That's just one thruster, but the turn of the gear the wings in the back actually spread open. They never, they never showed this in the show in Rebels because the ship was quickly destroyed by Vader, but the Sucker's got two extra sets of thrusters in the back, and they do kind of show it in the Clone Wars series when they make, when the ship needs to make a jump into hyperspace, but that's basically how it looks with the, the wing, with the, um, the added thrusters extended in the back. And that's Roughly the only playable features that the sucker has, and I forgot to mention the extra four smaller thrusters in the back around the big in, around the big one, so you got it's got that going for it. One of the features that they actually decided to throw in on this is an original Pelta, the bridge is actually way up here at the top, but in this sucker, the bridge has been placed all the way up here in the front, the very front. So I think this piece is I think it's the, the only um, piece you can get on this sucker is the only one you can actually get. So, I think it's got, I believe it's got that going for it. But as far as other detail and aesthetics, it's actually pretty well done, I gotta say. I mean, I like the, given this, even though my only complaint is the size, the design overall is actually well put. So, I actually like this sucker. So, definitely so I would recommend getting, not just for, I mean, if you're that picky on how it looks and even the size, then don't get it. But if you got a soft spot and you want to add into your own fleet, then definitely get it. Also to get it for getting the minifigures, especially for Ahsoka. I mean, that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why I really want to get the set in. I unfortunately got this after it had retired, so I was able to get it on my local bricks and minifigs, not sponsored. And I was, I was able to get the sucker because the original price on this was $110, so... I don't recall how much I bought this, I paid for this, but it was definitely well worth the purchase and well worth the wait. Because trying to get that version of Ahsoka is rather, rather spendy, I gotta say. So I really don't know how much it would cost nowadays. But I think it actually had, the, had a short running time as well. So, not that long. How long did it? Uh, barely a year by the looks of it, according to Brickset. <laughs> But definitely well worth, definitely the set that was well worth the purchase for getting the figs and just adding on a little bit of a fleet. I wish they would do something a little bit bigger than this, but eh, I don't think it's that much of a, of a desirable ship in general. 
So I don't think there's really much left, left to say on this set, so I would say that'd be my review. So that was my review on the Rebel Combat Frigate, and if you liked that video, and if you made it to the end of this video, please feel free to leave a like down below. Yeah, please feel free to leave a like and leave a comment. If you have your own personal biases on this particular set, I would like to hear it from anyone who would come across this channel. And if you want to see more reviews and just and to tune into the much my much anticipated big video of the year, my Grand Fleet review, which will be coming up the next, which will be the next upload after the lot, the next review, which is going to be a big one. How big? I know, it's not going to be a big like my. UCS Star Destroyer, but something along those, almost something near along those lines. So, definitely something to tune into. That will be the next one after this review. And if you want, if you want to see more videos like this, then come join the Wolf Pack by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And I believe all that stuff for me to remind you that Jesus loves you more than Elmo and Barty. And I'll see you guys next time.